on the second half of back-to-back, -back, especially with some travel involved in between, just some of the challenges that presents? I, I think back-to-back's overrated. We're going to have better second energy, or in the second half of the game, we're going to have en better energy. I think it's more it's more the accumulation of the games. Uh, you know, this is a lot of games in a short period of time, five and eight, and that's more the factor that you got to acknowledge. To me, back-to-back -back is completely overrated, and our, my experience has been if you survive the first period, you get stronger and stronger as the game goes on. It actually works in reverse, but five and eight, game, five and eight days is, re, is real, and uh, I liked our energy today. I liked the way we, we handled ourselves in the meetings and everything, so we look like we're in pretty good shape despite playing a lot. You have three extra bodies around Caleb Jones, uh, as well as uh, obviously Zekov and Ratty. Uh, possibility we're going to see those guys tonight? Uh, Jones will play tonight, uh, and then we'll stay with the same 12 forwards. We're, we were happy with that group last night, and uh, we'll stay with that. What can you expect from a guy like Caleb Jones playing in his first game uh, tonight, Ken? I have no idea. I've never seen him play. Uh, <laughs> I've watched a little bit of video. Uh, but uh, I've talked to people uh, both at the American League level and Major Junior level, and uh, I got a good feel. Uh, you know, he's he's played uh, he played uh, in in the American League with uh, with Gravel, so we're going to put that combination back together. And uh, you know, I you know he's he's a guy that's going to be a player here for a little while, and we might as well get his career started. So we want to start it tonight. And I know it's a little bit difficult because he he hasn't skated with us as a team. Uh, you know, today's the first time he's going to be able to skate uh, on an optional practice, but we, we might as well get his feet wet right now and get going. What was it uh, like when you were coaching the Flyers? What was that kind of experience like in a city like that? It was incredible because it was my first experience at understanding the dynamics of city to city uh, battles. Uh, in other words, uh, Philadelphia sits between Washington and New York and there's a real rivalry in those three cities on the sports front. Not just at the hockey side of things, but at uh, especially football obviously and, and basketball, same thing. Baseball, big two. I, I, I found the city to city rivalry and the, I don't want to call it hate, but the uh, the way that, that uh, the cities went at each other when there was competition, especially in the playoffs, was uh, was a new experience for me. And I, I quite frankly, love the edge of the city. I love it. It's got a Philly's got a real edge to it, but uh, it's got a passionate edge, and I, I liked it there a lot. And obviously, with the history, of everything that took place in the city is fascinating place. So, Garrison's the one who's out. No, uh, Wideman's out. So Caleb's played since, well, since right, he's right. played all right though this year. Okay. So he's played he's played on the right side, and that was by design, organizational design. He played on the right side right from day one, and he stayed on that side.